Hi guys, and welcome to Discovering Dorset, the Shea Way. Uh, so, recently I've managed to get rid of basically all of the bottles that I've managed to collect. Um, bulk loaded them off to a friend of mine who does markets and stuff. So if you're interested in finding some bottles, then check out Bridport Market in Dorset. And uh, yeah, you'll find some nice bottles there. Some of mine and some more that he has of his own that he's collected over the time. Anyway because I've got rid of a load of the bottles you know what that means we've got to go collect some more so I'm off down to see what I can find I might not find much I might find something who knows let's go adventure so first thing I thought I'd do is come down to the river's edge here as this is a lovely little river to lark along um, half the time this is actually all dried up it's not very deep at the minute but where it's flooded it's uh some parts of it are about half a foot or just over, so not able to walk through it, but I have noticed, one, this flint rock that's got all these lines through it. I'm not entirely sure what that is. If anyone else knows, then please tell me why it has those lines through it. Two, whoa, there's a bit of blue and white just here, but badly damaged, and a bit which would have had some pinky purpley flower I know it's just here there's a bit of a pipe stem just there look and over here on the dry edge we've got an old shoe heel so not too bad to start off with let's see if we find anything else just here it looks like it could Oh, it's a broken one. It would have been a stopper, look. You can see it would have been an aqua glass stopper, but whoop. Now it's just an aqua glass circle. Still kind of cool. I nearly missed this, look. But just kicked out of this badger hole here. One, there's what looks like part of an old square nail of some sort just there. But also, there's a key just here, look. An old key. Now that's a cool find. Yeah, open end. Give that a clean up at home, see if we can find any detail on it. Next thing, just from the bank side here, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like 3D. You can rub your finger over it and feel it. It looks like there's almost like a little blue set of grapes, maybe, or something like that on a bit of pottery. So we've got another flowery piece of blue and white and a longer piece of pipe stem just here I wonder if we'll find a bowl just here there's an old piece of barrel banding so that would have held, held some sort of liquid at one point and this I think looks like it would have been an old tin there's the top of it or an opening at least I'm not sure what it would have held Maybe an old oil can, tin, something like that. Don't know what that would have been, but it looks like it would have been the top of some sort of a bottle or jar. Or maybe the base for a lampshade, oil lamp or something. Um, the base of the shade, sorry. I just turned to me right here and we've got what looks like our third, yep, our third piece of pipe stem on the go here. See the hole just there. Three bits of stem today. Couple older bits of glass, thick glass. As you can see, that would have been the mouth of a bottle. And then a couple of big bits of old iron, metal stuff from something. Next up from the lark, a bit of broken stoneware pot. Oh, just made that mucky. Hopefully you can see. It's like a uh, very pretty, full of trees and things look. Like trees and leaves and whatnot on there it's also got a little bit on the inside rim too different pattern and it may not be the pipe bowl we were hoping for but it's part of a pipe and it has bristol across the stem there and it looks like the bowl would have had a pattern of some sort on it can't really tell what but maybe an acorn or a pine cone but it's cool that it's got bristol there like that the next things have popped out, you can see just over there is my pile of bits in the corner, but yeah, another shoe thing, 
that was on dry land and a big bit of bone of some sort maybe part of a cow not sure just seen this I think it would have been aqua blue some sort of a medicine or something at one point sadly very smashed I reckon though that this is the top off of it here so the rest of it's probably lying around somewhere nearly missed this look just here got an old buckle pretty little old buckle look someone's belt or something I assume it's not a shoe buckle too big for that <clears throat> and next to it something's jaw so I shall finish off today's lark section of this video by showing you all the little bits we found and our final find was this Hall and whoa, Hall and Woodhouse Limited Blandford. I've just given it a bit of a wash off in the in the river here. It's an old beer, a nice old beer. Problem is, it's got a smashed top, which is a real shame because it's such a lovely greeny colour. Look, absolutely beautiful. Hi guys, you rejoin me down the dump, and um, I've had one pin. I've had one thing pop out so far, so I'll show you what it is. So far, out of this hole here, we've had this lovely bottle here. Absolutely gorgeous, you see a little bubble in it there. Not sure what it was, perhaps a little perfume or something at one point. But it's lovely, lovely, lovely shape, lovely design. Okay, so the next things I can see here is what looks like a rather large bottle just there and I think there's another one of some sort just here whether they're complete or not we're yet to see but we'll dig them out and find out okie dokie so far got a mason's okay sauce well it's not looking not wanted to show you that on the camera is it there we go mason's okay sauce nothing special just a screw top okay sauce but that came out whilst we were trying to get out this is the big one no real clues um, other than a 20 on the bottom there but uh, I think I would assume it was a large medicine bottle of some sort but it's a beautiful plain bottle very big very cool and then we'll try and get that one out next out a couple little curiosity finds little light bulb it's kind of cool but this was the real curiosity find now as you can see it's got like a link to a chain and it looks like it would have been I think just there, it's hard to see, but just there is uh, some sort of writing. I'll try clean it up at home and see if I can figure it out. And then it's got like this, almost like a oxidized coppery looking bottom piece to it here. As I said, I will clean it up at home and see if I can find anything else out about it. But if you guys know what it is, then please let me know. Finally got that bottle out. At the bottom it has registered number applied for and then it's this big big old bottle almost uh, coffin shape but it's it's that shape if you see what I mean but as it goes up it comes out more like a coffin would uh, that style top no idea what it would have held but it's a lovely bottle and it's not one that I've ever had before sweet as Next one to pop up, just here, you can see there's another one there as well, but this one is... Ooh. Oh, I thought it might have been a tablespoons, but there's no markings on it. Definitely, I reckon, a little medicine bottle though. Just a plain one. Little pop-top plain medicine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have, as I said, there is another one in here just there you can see coming through so I'll dig that one out next but before I do another couple little curiosity finds this little uh, I think it would have been a screw top for something but it's made of lead almost looks like a ship's wheel in shape and this cool little pot just here which I think if I can real gently give it a rub you can see it's got like a lovely flower design to it just there very pretty I'll be taking pictures of it at home cleaning it up but yeah that for me I think is find of the day so far 
So, these were the next two things out. That was the bigger one we could see. It says fluid on the top there. Uh, with a poison marking, so you know not to drink it. And it's a scrubs fluid. You can see scrubs across it there. Also says registered trademark. It is a screw top. It's got a really thin neck to it as well. But it's a nice one. And it's a big one too. So, probably going to be a keep that one for me, I think. And... This was a lovely little surprise one. Fennings Fever Curer. Loads of bubbles throughout it. Again, aqua colour that one. Lovely. Okay, so our last few little bits and bobs. This very pretty broken piece of flower. I think it would have been a cup at one point. You can see it there. Had a little, uh, little hip flask thing. Screw top hip flask. See the shape of it like that. That would have held, I don't know what, whiskey or something like that. Um, and then this item, which I'm not entirely sure what it is. Uh, it's metal, I'm going to tell you that much. And it looks kind of like a grate maybe, with some, I don't know, some leg pieces or something. I'm not sure. I'm going to take it home and see if I can get it cleaned up any better than it is. But yeah, interesting item. So day two, and the first thing to come out is this screw top stoppery thing white stopper which has lucas england on the top um i'm not sure if there would have been hole in the middle there for stuff to come through and it would have had like little holes to i don't know like feed through whatever liquid it was at a very slow rate or if that was just the stopper as it is if anyone else knows then let me know Next thing to come through, a bit of this blue and white that we've got here with some flowers on. There's another little bit of blue and white just there. And this amber glass, it looks like it might be a screw top actually. Let's see if I can flip it up with the spade. Oops. Right, there we go. That should come loose now. Okay, there we go, what have we got, we've got, hey, you can see the screw top on it there, but I'm thinking that was probably an OXO pot, yeah there you go look, OXO in quotation marks on the side, has it got anything else, two ounce, there we go, two ounce OXO jar there, quite a cool little find, different from a Bob rule or a Marmite anyway isn't it? cool just here look there seems like there's the edge of something glass let's see if it's complete so it turns out it was just half a bowl and it's kind of got you can't really see on this side but if you look through it this way you can kind of see grapes and orange pattern that it's got on it embossed and then it's got some patterning around the edge but snapped in half uh, this little jar, dinky little jar came out along with it, actually, just above it. No real clues, just 11.20 on the bottom. And we also got this great big spoon, look. Great big massive spoon. So that's a cool find. Next up and out, a big one of these. We had a big one before, didn't we, yesterday? But this one seems to have a little bit of label left. WH something. No idea what it was, though, really. Got a big 20 on the bottom, just there. But yeah, nice bottle nonetheless, little pop top. Got this little bit of flowery, uh, some sort of bowl maybe or something like that. Oh, it's bold colours, so I thought it was quite cool. Followed up by a bit of blue and white with like, I think that's a tree maybe. Not sure. Next after that, we had this amber hip flasky thing, lip of a bottle type thing. Nothing super special, I don't think. And this lovely tablespoons, aqua, aqua glass tablespoons. The rain's coming in now a little bit, so we might not be here for too much longer. This is a bottle, last bottle of the day that we're gonna get, screw top. I'm thinking it was a Lucasade or something like that. Funky shape, you know, tall, thin. Looks like what I think a Lucasade would have looked like. Got this bit of blue and white, sadly broken, lovely pagoda on there. Uh, also got a handle. Oh, got a handle on things here. Ah! 
Can't get a handle on it. There we go, got a handle on it. With that. Another bit of this blue and white, which I thought was quite interesting because it had a bit of green on it, which I've not seen before. Um, if anyone knows why, please do tell me. And this other little bit of blue and white with another pagoda. Funky colour. Little pot. Cream pot. And a comb. So we're back down for day three, the final day of this episode. The first thing that's just come out of that hole to pop through, just an old jar. Nothing special. Old jar, F and F on the bottom. But we did also have a little bit of blue and white flowery pattern. And this little curiosity. It looks a bit like a toggle, except that bit doesn't move. And it's got like hair design, kind of, or fluff design. I don't really know. So yeah, that's a little interesting piece next couple of bits one of those little aspirin bottles and a lovely two ounce marmite this time you could should be able to see it there yeah two ounce marmite always love getting them next up Heinz see that Heinz bottle screw top probably an old uh, ketchup or something like that and half of an old oil drum lid the next item just here if you can see that looks kind of interesting so let's hope it's complete. Sadly, it's a goner. It would have been nice though, look. That is a sad one. And sadly, this one's got no top. So that's an old flag sauce. You can see printed there. Sauce. And there you can see flag. Next up, just here, we've got a whole selection of items. You can just make out and co on the bottom of the label of what would have been a beer of some kind there. It's an old beer bottle, this lovely bottle, it's uh, aqua, popped up, lovely bubbles throughout, lovely bottles, love those, always love those, had a beautiful tablespoons look, lovely aqua tablespoons medicine, the bottom of an egg cup, and this candle Christmas light, light bulb thing, which I thought was very unique. Last little pieces to pop out, one triangular shaped nail polish maybe, or something like that, screw top, it's a very late one that. Um, this is a nice bottle, this was quite a deep one, um, I don't know what it would have been, unfortunately it's got a bit out of it there, so it's not a keeper, otherwise it would have been nice, and a chain. Oh, right. Ah. Thank you all for joining me on today's adventure and I'll be sure to catch you in the next one. Bye for now.